This is the Bio Center AV5 from Bang & Olufsen. Prepare yourself to explore it. In a few seconds, it'll be time for you to take over. You have arrived at your starting point. From here, you can visit places and meet people from around the world. The arrows and the go button on the remote control are all you need. Take a look around and make your choices. Time is on your side. The discs, the films, the music, you know, they're a luxury, which are really quite nice to have, because I can control it. I don't have to listen to all that nonsense that you get on general television. The first disc that we tried was an encyclopedia disc. And the first thing I pressed was elephants. And of course, the music is, is a knockout. I mean, absolutely outstanding. I mean, now I, I'd like to have a a loudspeaker in every, every room in the house, so wherever I am, I can listen to it. The um, greatest cinematic experience of my whole life, in fact, was working on Out of Africa with Sidney Pollock, who was the director, because he gave me total freedom pretty well to do what I wanted to do, to do it the way I felt it should be done. And his instructions to me were, just go out and do it. I can only tell you if I don't like it. So that was an amazing brief, and it'll never happened to me before. One of the things that we had to do was that we had a train which was supplied by Kenya Railways. And um, this train ended up by having no brakes. And at one stage, we had this marvelous shot of it going across this backlit evening light with all the yellow grass and the plains of Africa and, of course, the Ngong Hills in the background, which play such an important part in the film. And suddenly, I see a man on top of the train as if he was hitting it. So I'm shouting into the radio, what the devil's going on down there? And back comes the answer, the train has caught fire. <laughs> and of course, there was a sort of made up, it was a diesel engine, but the, it was meant to look like a steam engine. And the special effects people had, hadn't done their job quite right and the whole thing had caught fire. And it ended up with all the extras jumping off the film, uh, jumping off the train and it took us for the rest of the afternoon to stop the train, find everybody, rebuild it and get it back again. And that was a whole afternoon gone. You know, when you think about tomorrow, well, I suppose the older you get, you, you might think more about tomorrow. But um, as in my book, I think as long as I'm reasonably sure I can go on living life as I do now, that's all that I think about. And it doesn't need very much for me to, to be able to do that. That's why I'm so lucky. That's why I'm richer than a great number of people, because I can get all I need from very simple things, a sunset, a sunrise, sleeping under the stars, a beautiful tree, the animals. I don't need anything more in my life. I've got friends, I've got great friends who come and visit me and see me and stay with me and I don't need anything more, so I'm incredibly lucky.